In this video today, we are going to look into how you can add the sell pass payment tag on your sales page. Now, the reason why you need to add this tag and also the function of this tag is because it's going to help you and also help sell pass to verify and also process payment on your behalf. Now, if you have a sales page of a product you want to list on sell pass or you have a product already on sell pass, there is a new update on our system and that is why we are doing this video today to show you how you can add the new payment tag on your sales page. So the first thing you need to do now is this particular video and also the particular process is only applicable to only vendors, only product vendors. The product you can apply this thing into uh, digital products like PDF, softwares, video files or video courses. So any courses have at all. So far as you have a sales page, you need to have this new payment tag installed on your sales page so to do that if you want to become a vendor on sell pass the only thing it takes you to do is to just open the sell pass website that is sellpass.co then you go down you read everything about sell pass and you click on the vendor okay you click on the vendor you read everything about how to become a vendor on the platform to become a vendor on sell pass is very very easy it's not going to take a lot of time all you need to just do is to click on the vendor you read everything about it how to list your product how to get your product up and running on the marketplace now one of the things that we make your product go viral on sell pass is if you have a very valuable content or a very valuable product that works very very well and your sales page is very appealing that means it's going to help our affiliates and also going to help people who want to buy a product to close more sales. So the first thing you need to do now is the vendor registration fee on sell pass is 20,000 Naira or $40 a year and this payment is not refundable. Now when you pay this 20,000 Naira to become a vendor on sell pass, you are not going to pay another money again to have your product listed. You can have up to 1,000 products on sell pass with this one year payment so of 20,000 naira. so what i'm going to do now is i'm going to log in to one of my vendors account now to show you how you can do this thing so first thing i'm going to do now is you need to register an account first of all okay click here to register an account and just put your first name last name username your preferred username your email address please make sure your email address is working phone number you're using the password and everything you log in you create account then you verify you receive an otp if you are a returning user, all you need to just do is to click on login. Now, your account you are going to create on sell pass is going to be in two different formats. One is going to be a vendor, one is going to be an affiliate. Now, you need to upgrade the account. Once you create a new account on sell pass, you become another user. So, you need to choose the one you want to go for. You want to go for an affiliate. Affiliate simply means people who can sell products on the platform and get paid. Now, a vendor are people who have this product that are listed on the marketplace. Now, we are going on the path for the vendor. So, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to log in. This is the account I want to use for these demonstrations. Now, once I log in, it's going to appear like this. The next thing you need to do is, as a vendor, now, as a vendor you are, this page is not going to be like this. You need to upgrade the account so that this page will appear. So, when you register, newly on sell pass you become a user so you're going to be seeing two different options here that says upgrade to become a, an affiliate or a vendor so if you choose a vendor and upgrade it's going to take you to this page so the first thing you need to do now is you need to update your account okay you need to update your account put the, your required everything here the city the country the zip code about you anything at all about the product about your expertise you can just put it here and you click on update the next thing you need to do is to click on profile click on account information this is where you need to put the payment details please make sure that the payment option you are putting up here is very very correct because if you do a mistake here you are not going to edit it again so the next thing you need to do now is our focus is to list our products so we're going to do something here what you need to just do is come to your dashboard you come to new product click on the new product then this page will appear what i would like you to do is to go through this instruction from the beginning to the end here you read everything about it one your product 
must have a sales page to be listed on our marketplace. Your sales page must not must be well designed and optimized to ensure that affiliates find it easy to close sales. This is one of the key factors to close more sales to have your product to be making a lot of sales. Before getting the approval stage, our team will review your product to ensure that it passes the quality check because it's not all the products that will be accepted on the platform. Your product must have a profile and with correct details, right? So that the KYC verification is going to be smooth and easy for on our own end. So you must install the cell pass P cell on your sales page. This is very, very important. And that is this P cell here. This is the P cell code that we are going to add here. Now, let me show you an example of this P cell code. Let me open one of my website I'm going to use for this so that you see how the payment button appears on your sales page this thing must be on your sales page please your sales page must not have a payment button it must not have any payment that leads to a particular page the payment and the pcl you are going to install on this sales page is going to be integrating the sell pass payment button on your sales page so that when somebody click and buy your product the sales will be recorded on your dashboard all right so Again, don't list a product that is not your own. We don't accept such products on our platform. Now, the payment you need to do, the exchange rate as of this moment I'm recording this video is 500 Naira per $1, right? So what I'm going to do now is that because of this payment option, because of this payment rate, we are doing this payment rates to all whole country because all these things are recorded on your local currency. So we are not trading with the parallel market which is the black market rate of dollar so what i'm going to do now is if you have your product already the product name is going to be here the currency is already usd the product category you select the product category that your product lies in then the product type you select the product type digital physical service software the product price is going to be here okay you put it here if your product is 25,000 Naira or 20,000 Naira, you put it, you divide it by 500. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to bring up my calculator to show you how to get the exact rate of your product. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to talk about this in, in uh, using Nigerian Naira, for example, because most of people who are listing their product here are Nigerians. So what I'm going to do now is to get the exact rate of your product on our platform is if your product is 25,000 Naira, right and you want to put it on the product price what you need to just do is you need to do you need to do is calculate 25000 naira divided by 500 it's going to give you 50 dollars so that 50 dollars is that 50 dollars is what you are going to put here 50 then the commission per sale for affiliate you can make it 50% that means if an affiliate sell this product they will get 25 dollar as commission so the higher the commission you give to your affiliates, the higher they can make sales for your products. But that does not guarantee the sales and success of your product. It lies on what your product has to do for its clients, okay? For customers as idea. Then the product description is going to be here. The URL tag of your product, that means the sales page of your product is going to be here. So for example, I'm going to use this thing as my sales page. This is actually the sales page of that product you are putting on sell pass. Then the product download page or the thank you page. This is a page that when somebody, a prospect or a customer buys your product, this is a place that they are going to access that product. Mind you that the sell pass team need to access this product. Okay. Now this particular one here is the url or the jv page or affiliate resource page this simply means this is a place or a page on your website that you put the promotional materials of your product or the challenge or anything at all about this product you are trying to promote this will help our affiliates to sell your product as well so they will go here they find both testimonials of your product everything about your product they are going to see is here so let's go back to what this video is all about this is how to add this tag like i said let me show you example of this tag in action if i open this website here this is the tag here okay this is this, this is a sales page if you can see this thing very clearly there's no button 
on this sales page there's no single button on this sales page if your product has a button it can never be approved on sell pass so what you need to just do right now is to click on this pay for this product if you did not apply this thing if you did not put this thing on your sales page this payment option will not appear here so what i'm going to do now is let me show you how to do it depending on the kind of page builder you are using on your sales page for here i'm using Trav architect so i'm going to click on edit so while you're on editing your sales page you need to just do something for me first of all is you need to come here you copy this first script this script can be added should be added at the head tag of your sales page you copy it you come to the product editor that means the editor you are using let's say for example elementor or travel architect on this particular video i'm using travel architect to edit this sales page so right now this sales page have finally loads you know the editor have finally opened up so what i'm going to do now is i'm going to try to add show you how to add the script these two scripts need to be added on your sales page to do that on travel architect click on the settings when you click on the settings you click on advanced settings when you click on advanced settings the next thing you need to click is custom script when you click on custom script you come here look at it here let me delete the old one that is here now and add the first one okay you can see now this one i copied here copy it and paste it here the second button which is this second script here the second script here copy the script copy it you can add it together at the head tag or you can add it at the body tag it doesn't matter just add the two code okay then let me click on save work if i click on save work that means i've added this tag on this sales page so for example now let me i will remove this tag now and edit and also save this sales page to see how it's going to show on the sales page so i've saved these changes now let me remove the tags then save and preview i want to show you something that will happen here if i save this and preview it the payment tag is not going to appear again unless i added the payment tag so let's wait for it to show us the result all right so look at it here now you can see there's no payment button again so your affiliate cannot be able to close sale on this particular sales page if you didn't include that tag so we are going to include it right now let me click on edit with travel architect so that i can include that tag so all i need to just do is to just copy the first one go to settings and add it so i've copied it all right let me click on settings go back the same settings again process step custom script you add it come here you copy the second one copy you add it again here you click on save click on save now you allow it to save your changes so depending on the speed of your internet or speed of your network you can save automatically within a short period of time then that is it so once you are done with adding this script on your sales page all you need to just do is you put all these details i said again then you click on submit when you hit this publish button after submitting your product details your product is going to be sent directly to the servers quality control team they are going to verify and view your product to ensure that it meets all these requirements here and once everything is verified your product is going to be live on the marketplace so that is how to add the payment tag of sell pass to appear on your sales page so that will be all for this video go ahead and continue listing your product on sell pass marketplace